Today I'm gonna show you how I got from this point to this point and I'll also explain the how and the why. This is a photo I did recently for an article on my blog called Negative Space in Food Photography. So the idea was that I needed some negative space to add that airiness to the photo but also add some elements around to make the photo visually interesting. So let's look at the photo. This is where I started. I really wanted the photo to be quite flowy and dynamic without be being overly full and crammed with props. You can see in the back that I placed a tiled backdrop at a slight angle and that's to add just a little bit of dynamics in the photo. So then I had my two large elements, the mug and the vase in the back. And I was kind of playing around with um, how they were positioned in relation to each other. I actually preferred the focus to be on the mug that was in the front and that's why I ended up placing the um, vase more to the side. I just didn't want it to overshadow this beautiful mug which would eventually hold hot cocoa with fake cream which I'll show you later in the video so I'll show you how you can do that. And you can see that I changed the placement of the camera a bit so there's less space in the bottom here and more space up here. Um, I really like doing this for brighter wider photos to just give them some extra breathing space. Also I started placing different things around. I started with a little bit of color which kind of gave me the clue of what colors are gonna be like. I went with the orange in contrast with the bluish whites to get that really nice cold warm contrast which I really like in the winter and I also really like pairing blues and browns because blue uh, color really brings out the warmth from the browns. And I also added the orange um, with the dried oranges and it just adds a little extra color punch and color emphasis which I really love adding in my, in my photos. I could have only used brown colors but this orange just really really spoke to me and I think it was kind of really smart to add them just for that extra interest. So let me know in the comments what do you think? Does the orange add to the photo or not? So if you look at the back you can now see that I also added a bar of chocolate and it's just peeking in. Uh, now it's still in the foil here because I was just testing it but later on I'll remove the foil so don't worry. Um, I really like how the chocolate bar balances out the dark part of the vase on the other side so that's why I placed it on the opposite side. And then I started to play with the spoon. I knew I needed some cutlery and probably it was gonna be a spoon from the beginning to kind of make it appear more lived in. Uh, so I went with a golden one. I think it's just better than if I chose a silver one again for that extra pop of color it just goes better with the whole story. And then I played around with the placement of the spoon and I actually ended up placing it on the other side where it actually got more light. Uh, and you can see how much more colorful it is when the light hits it. Uh, it actually has like a similar hue to the oranges which I really really like. So I left it there placing it diagonally again to add that dynamics into the frame. Then of course I filled the vase. Again I used the same colors, the brownish orangey ones so it's not too obvious, it's not too in your face. It's just a nice complement and added texture to the photo. And then I actually decided that the angle was too low which I should have realized earlier but I'm glad I did. You're gonna see how later on it's gonna give me more space to showcase the cocoa and the cream on the cocoa. Um, and if we compare these two angles you're gonna see how much more of the inside of the mug you can actually see now with the new angle. And you'll also see how it works better later on. Then I played around with the oranges a little bit. I just moved them around to see what would look best. Um, and I actually ended up moving this uh, orange a little bit further up so it's better visible because before you could only see like a really really tiny part here. And then if we look at the chocolate here you can see how I actually ended up moving it further out. Uh, it's a really really dark element so there was too much of it. There was 
less of the chocolate in the lower angle version and then it was more visible when I changed the, the angle and moved the camera. So that's why I had to move it back further out. Uh, and I also added some crystal sugar or candy sugar. I'm <laughs> really not sure what these are called. So if you know, just let me know in the comments. Uh, they don't really add any color, uh, but they do add a little texture and they kind of add that sweet, cozy feel. And I also think they kind of look a little bit wintry, like almost like it's ice. What do you think? Like, I really love how, what they do to this photo. And then I also added some here in the back to kind of balance things out and played around with the positioning a little bit so they're not like overly distracting. And then I started adding cream. Would you believe me if I told you that this is really not the whipped cream? This is actually shaving cream. So it was the first time I tested this nifty little trick. And I don't know, I kind of really like the, the result. I think the shaving cream looks real and it kind of became my new obsession. Um, I think I'm gonna add it to my styling kit from now on. So maybe you'll see some photos with whipped cream more on my feed in my work. You never know. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's really workable. And by that, I mean, you can really shape it the way you want. Uh, it's really, really easy to work with it. Um, but I do have to mention it that I had to do the thing twice because the first time around, I got a little bit impatient and I actually did <laughs> quite a mess. So I had to remove everything, um, wash the mug and then bring the shaving cream and do everything all over again. So the thing was that the cream actually stuck to the spoon quite a bit. So when I wanted to, it to release from the spoon, I really had to dip the spoon very, very much in. So it actually like the, the liquid would kind of flush off the shaving cream. Uh, so that would be just my advice if you try to, <laughs> if you try this trick, just dip the spoon all the way in and just be very gentle and slow. So I think the result is pretty nice. So then I had my cream and I wanted to add more texture on top. So I made some chocolate shavings and just sprinkled them all over the, sh the cream or the shaving cream. And I also added a little bit on the bottom corner here. Um, and then I added the final touch, which was the dried orange inside the cup. It's just that last interesting detail in a drink, which always elevates drink. Just being really, really cautious with having something, but not too much. So it's kind of a balanced thing. So in this photo, after I did the photo stacking, the entire drink was really nice, uh, nice and in focus, but I just kept the background really nice and soft. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mini uh, walkthrough to how I created a photo. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more content like that and I'll see you next time.